Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Ames Grow and Get It. I get the privilege this week of having Ashley Bedford. She is one of the top producers in the country with Patriot uh, Patriot Home Funding. And Ashley, where is Paige? Where are you located at? What area? Just um, outside of Orlando in Central Florida. Central Florida. Yeah. Excellent. So I got a great opportunity to meet with Ashley in a mastermind sec uh, mastermind thing that we got to do with UWM. Uh, really got to see her leadership skills, but then I got a chance to connect with her one on one and really learn how do you get from doing some business to where Ashley's been consistently over a hundred million dollar a year producer, obviously takes some great work ethic, but there's also one secret that she's going to share with us today that I got to be honest with you. This is something that really helped kick off my career as well, too. Um, so quick introductions. I'm Tom. I am the president here of AIM Growth. We got Ashley Bedford, mortgage broker with Patriot Home Funding. And Ashley, tell us a little bit about how, uh, how do you leverage service providers as referral partners? Yeah. So as you know, um, Florida's super saturated with brokers and people licensed here. So I knew I had to do something different to earn business and I wasn't prepared to pay for leads or anything like that. Um, so I just started to think, what can I do? And I thought, well, let me call every title company I can find in the phone book or on Google or whatever, and ask them to send me the deals that are canceling a week before a day before. Let me see if I can save it. Um, because I can close it quicker, even on a manual underwrite than them going back on the market, going back under contract and so forth, especially, you know, seven years ago when the market wasn't anywhere near like it is now. So it took a lot of calling and repeat calling and just saying, hey, you got anything? And then finally, I started getting a few where the agents would call me. And of course, they were skeptical of me, but then I started closing the deals. So those agents would use me and then they'd tell other people what happened. Um, and then I started seeing a little niche that worked very well for me, which was transaction coordinators. And I get a lot of my business from transaction coordinators because I communicate, 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 and they never have to email me. And the less work they have to do, the more files they can bring in, the more money they can bring in for their families. So, and they tell other agents about me. They're like, oh, this girl, Ashley, she closes deals because they see all the failed deals and the closed deals. So they know who's good and who's not. Right. And transaction coordinators are normally working with hundreds of files compared yeah. to you know, a, a team lead on a real estate uh, team, maybe they're doing five, 10 transaction coordinators are working for all. And that's a great, I've never done the one with transaction coordinator, coordinator yeah. but even the title company, like you mentioned, if a deal's going sideways, give me a call, right? I'm a broker. I've got lots of options. Yeah. You initially started, as you mentioned, with even saying, hey, manual underwrites, right? Yeah. A lot of us have avoided uh, hard deals, right? Right now, because of the environment that rates have been so low. And even you mentioned, like, I don't necessarily go out now and try to say, I'll take on the hardest you and do a manual yeah. underwrite. Yeah. But what you've done is created a relationship with a title company. Yeah. And title company is a service provider. Not a lot of people get deals from their title company. But I can tell you that they are, you know, Todd Bitter will be giving an example. He's one of them. He makes their job so easy. They love sending yeah. him business. You've exactly. Done it because now. the less work they have to do. Yeah, you've done it now to where you're getting the introduction. Some of my best agents have come from the title company that said, hey, you know, I know your last three closings with so-and-so happened to be a retail lender. Didn't go well. You should call Tom. Tom's closing on time and you're doing the same thing and I love it. So, I mean, yeah. it's really good. So besides transaction coordinators, um, t tell me like, so you're really trying to make sure they don't have to do their job, right? Is that the kind of the secret? Yeah. And uh, the biggest complaint that I probably get, and I know that we have to delegate our business in order to not just burn out, but the biggest complaint they get is that they get passed to so many different people within the organization. So honestly, the main emails, I get five emails per file. Um, I call all my files, five touch files. And it makes such a big difference. And those emails take me about 30 seconds to send. It's nothing. It's just the standard updates, copy and paste. And the fact that they get to hear from me and not the my team is huge for them. And that's how I've built my brand around that as well. So it's really, really helped in that and to get continued business. So. And that's great. So five, you're basically making sure throughout the step, initial underwrite, appraisal cleared, yep. clear to close, Docs out, final 
Yep. Inspection, when the appraisal inspection is happening, when it's due, it's something they really want to hear because it just gives them that proper communication to know that we're on time. Do you use any, I mean, do, what, what for organization on that, tell me what you're using. I mean, how do you, um, I know this is kind of on the spot, but that's how we do it, right? A lot of it is, how are you, are you just templating an email every time? Do you know when these inspections, like, how do you keep organized of, of all of that information? So I'm very old school, very old school. And I have a whiteboard that's in front of me and it has all the closing dates. And I know when I need to run it down, what's priority. They're all listed in order. And then I have folders in my email. I don't use any fancy technology. It's just, it's how I work best um, just to have that in front of me. And it's in front of me at all times. So I know where I need to be, what files need emails. And then the minute it comes out of underwriting, I send that email because I just don't delay on that. Just do it. It makes us look really good because if they're going, to, if they're using retail lenders on a normal, they're in underwriting for a week to two weeks. They don't even know if they've gotten initial approval. So right. to give them an approval, most of our lenders same day is huge. Oh, that's such a good value add. And honestly, you know, I've utilized the relationship with the title companies, but going forward for me, the big takeaway speaking with you is understanding transaction coordinators are kind of your in, right? Yeah. Like use them and provide value to them to where they know right away, oh, you know, hey, you're having a problem with a file. Here's who I would suggest. Ashley Bedford's done an amazing job and yeah. you're getting those hot introductions to real estate agents that need a solid partner in the wholesale uh, wholesale arena, right? Yeah, and it's really great to get that because I'll get whole offices from that. So it's just really been such a great value add and realizing that that was the little niche that I was missing. Man, that's great. Ashley, I can't thank you enough. Uh, these are quick, right? But it comes down yeah. to the execution, right? Yeah. I think thought without action is fantasy and you've proven yeah. that just that, uh, that it doesn't take a fancy platform or anything else. You have some folders, even 10 clients a month that you're providing amazing service to is going to continue to allow your business to go to grow and grow. So really yeah. awesome. Thank you again, brokers, for joining us here for another episode of Ames Grow and Get It. If you missed it or you want to check out another episode, we do have it on your AMP profile as well as on our AIM National YouTube page. Ashley, pleasure having you. Hope you continue to go out and grow and get it. And uh, thank you, brokers. Everyone have a great week. Thank you. Have a great week.